This amazingly creamy sandwich can be prepared at home with our pantry's staple ingredients without even using any cream and mayonnaise. Hey you magical people, welcome to Salt and Sugar Saga. So today we are making one of my favorite sandwich, basil pesto dill yogurt sandwich. And for this we need to chop all our veggies finely. So firstly I have taken green onions and I'm gonna chop them as finely as possible. It is really important to chop your veggies as finely as possible because we are not gonna cook our veggies because we want the crunch of the veggies as it is and secondly big chunks doesn't seem that great in sandwiches trust me now I have taken dill leaves dill leaves is a kind of herb and has a very beautiful flavor and aroma so this is gonna help us make our sandwiches flavorful and more aromatic so now we're gonna transfer everything in a bowl. Let's add more colors. And now we're gonna chop our red bell pepper. The beauty of the sandwich is that if you don't have any specific vegetables, so you can um, add the vegetables which are favorable for your taste. Again, I'm gonna finely chop them. Now I have taken a small size onion. Now I'm gonna add corn kernels. Here I'm using frozen ones. If you don't have frozen one, you can uh, boil the fresh ones and then use it. I've taken Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use the hung yogurt instead. Now we're gonna season it with black pepper, paprika, some garlic powder. You can use crushed fresh garlic instead. Some Italian herbs. And salt we're gonna mix everything really well now for this sandwich um, per sandwich we need three slices and this uh, yogurt mixture can make seven to eight sandwiches depending on the amount you're using so firstly I'm gonna remove all the corners of the bread And I'm going to apply the market bought basil pesto sauce. Now we layer it with the bread and now I'm going to put the yogurt mixture around a spoonful, a good spoonful of mixture. Now we're gonna put some butter and we're gonna grill it. We are not putting too much of butter but a little bit which is gonna give us buttery flavor and a crispy texture. See those beautiful grill marks. Hey guys, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified all the times. Time to plate. Before that, let's take a sneak peek. Can you hear the crispiness? If you do, comment down below. Oh, they are looking so creamy. If you like this recipe, please 
give it a thumbs up. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.